Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. These are mods for Thursday the 2nd of June. I am a day late and a dollar short, <laughs> as always. Uh, we've got a lot to get through, a lot of updates. Um, I had the option of just doing a pick of the mods or doing all the mods that came out and some of them we have to skip through very quickly and not necessarily look at all of the options. That was the best way I could work out of doing it. Updates from Giants. We've got the Anderson Group Stack Pro 7200. We've got the Bednar Swifter SM18000, the Gvernland iXter B18, the Gvernland iX Track uh, T4, the Pertinger Aero Sem 3002 and Lion 303, the Holmer Terrados T440, the Holmer Terrafelis 3 Evo, the TT8022 Driverless, uh, the Vagestat Tempo VTP V8 and FH2200. Whew. Uh, then we've got uh, say regular regular mods. Uh, Mecklenburg Lake District uh, by Holden. The map has had an update that will require a new save game if you're going to do the update on that and want to use it. Uh, mobile utilities by Joss that has had added a mobile cell point, but it's only certain things and a mobile bail cell point. The liftable bales pack has had an update that's added some more vehicles, bale trailers, and things that are compatible with custom bale, uh, mods. Bales. Uh, the farm supply pack by the law has added in still no seed, but it's added in sorghum and well, it did say road salt, but I thought road salt was really part of it. And then the small dairy by Nailu have all had updates. So, cracking on in front of me, we have got the consumables purchase station 1.94 megabytes download. This by Austria Modding. We've got two fuel containers, we have got two lime seed and fertilizer containers you can choose which ones you want to go for and then on the end we've got one liquids one which will do your fuel herbicide liquid fertilizer uh did you milk and water we'll check in just a second um these aren't ones you you fill up go to click on it and you can fill out these are just buy points and if we go into i think they were under hmm that's a good point containers so we're on the containers. There we go. Uh, so they're all 15,000 to buy each individual one, they're all three slots. Uh, so yeah, petrol station, petrol station, those first two lime uh, fertilizer seed and lime for those two, and the last one just is buying station for liquids. Uh, I would say herbicide, liquid fertilizer, and water. So you can't buy milk or anything from them. I have job, I sort of did, I did seed and I did fertilizer. The seed worked out pretty much equitable with your standard in game seed pallets. The fertilizer was a little bit cheaper by a couple of hundred pounds, euros, dollars. Um, I didn't check all of the prices, but um. That's where you'll find them under build mode and containers. They are buy points. Happy days. Moving on from there, we've got the productions with loading gate. This is by uh, Kamikata. It is, well, it varies. This comes with a trailer. And as you can see, we've got sugar mill, but we've got these white lines at the front. This takes um, production factories, uh, bakery, grain mill, spinnery, sugar mill, and tailor shop. And it makes them so that when you put it on storing, it doesn't put pallets out the front. So with the limited pallet availability, sort of pallet space, depending on what console you're playing on, um, what, or, or even PC, it will put them into storage, but not out. Um, and then you get a trailer that comes with this pack. Now it does say as well, it does, uh, it does say compatible with the mods self-loading trailers. So there are some self-loading trailer mods out there that this will work with as well. This you will find under build mode. This is under production. We go down to our factories and scroll across. We should get to, there we go, bakery, grain mill, spinnery, sugar mill and tailor shop. If I, for example, click on tailor shop now, you'll see the white lines out the front of it. Uh, overlaps with another object at the moment, but so we've got our white lines. So for putting into this one, the sugar mill in particular, in goes here. So you've got your regular things. It does all, everything is the same. All the values, prices, number of cycles, output quantities, everything remains the same. It's just it changes the, the way it kind of deals with things. If we go into here and go to our sugar mill, uh, across here where it says the options, you've got storing, selling, or distributing. When you put it on storing, you'll get no pallets appear. It just kind of stores them. Uh, if we go into here and we go to miscellaneous on there, P 
productions with loading gates. 12 grand is a 4,000 litre one, not a huge capacity, but I say there are some other modded ones about. Uh, we can have standard or standard two for the wheels and the license plate option. So what should happen when you've got your products in and it's processing? Did I finish on already? No. Um, you have to open the doors for it to work. We back all the way up and it should come up with start filling. Click on start filling and that's now putting sugar in, hopefully, from storage. There we go, into big wooden boxes. But I say this one only takes 4,000 litres. There are some other options available. Um, so it just takes your production change things. If, you, if you're concerned about your pallet limit and you want to go with your standard production change things but tweak it a little bit, it works really well. Great idea. Uh, does that was 8.14 megabytes download the trailer six slots yeah by Kamikata moving on from there we've got the cow shed this is a 42 by 22 meter cow shed it will hold 80 cows nicely made nicely detailed slurry point is at the front just here I do like the fact that we've got pa uh, little sort of padlock lock bit on there I have got some cows in there your milk point for collection is just inside here uh, and then I found, as I came in, the trigger for Total Mix Ration for feed and for straw was just inside the door here. I didn't actually... Hang on. Oh, it does open. I say, I didn't find a light switch. There you go. There, there's your milk point in here. Doors open both ends. Nice and airy from the top in as well. Uh, so your feed and straw triggers are in here. Your animal dialogue box for buying selling loading unloading it's just inside here and like i said it will hold 80 once placed you will find it here i've got my bedding in i have got slurry being produced now obviously the same as any of them the uh well any of the most of the milk cow buildings this one doesn't require you to put in water you'll still get charged for water um, but you don't actually have to put it in yourself but if you want manure to come out because you put straw in you're going to need to put a manure heap with it close by for the manure to be produced because it will do slurry it will do milk but it will need manure to be produced separately uh, this you will find under built mode animals and cues 84 grand on the end there slot count will come down to two if you buy more than one of them uh, not too expensive for an 80 cow shed um i quite like that very nice indeed uh that's the cow shed by oh paisel 25.07 megabytes download i'm getting over excited and not giving you all the information 25.07 megabytes that's by paisel uh moving on from there we've got homemade rtk station uh this is by jmz jmz it is 0 0.60 megabytes download, four slots on console. It's cost you 3,500. You'll find it under build mode and sheds, interestingly. It's designed to be used with um, precision farming. Um, with precision farming, it makes your um, workers 11% more efficient, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, you'll find it under build mode, sheds, homemade RTK station. Lovely. Uh, that's by JMZ, JMZ. Bavarian Farmhouse is next. Uh, this is a sleep trigger. It's by NRX Eki. NRX Eki. 11.03 megabytes download, 17 slots on console. It costs you 230 grand though, but it's a lovely looking house. And unlike a lot of the houses we get as placeables, it's not just lovely on the outside. We can go inside this one as well. We go inside. We have got a light switch. There you go. Turn on and off light. Um, our sleep trigger is just in here. There's no wardrobe trigger though. I thought it might be in the other room. There's no upstairs this either, but it's, it's nicely detailed inside. It's, it's nice to be able to get inside the building sometimes, you know. Uh, this you'll find under farmhouses, build mode and farmhouses. Nicely made, nicely detailed. I know I say that a lot, but it is, you know. Sometimes I have said things are a bit flat or they're a bit pixelated, you know. I'm just saying, it's good. Um, that's by NRX Eki. Uh, next, oh yeah, we've got the Husqvarna 266XP Chainsaw, 1.14 megabytes download by Gamer HZS FSH. Have we go up one, up one. There it is. Very lovely. Works like other chainsaws do. Uh, you'll find it. And the chainsaws, beauty this is, it's a little bit cheaper. 420 to buy rather than a grand. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative, 
especially if you're doing a, a logging let's play start from scratch kind of thing and you haven't got a lot of money save yourself a bit of money on your um chainsaw there you go the uh hearse gavana 266 xp by gamer h z s f s h uh next we have got this this is the pack Evolumas Magzi. This is by Fred Modding. 6.92 megabytes download. There are three slots each. There are a selection of weights. You can have them with the weight on their own. You can have them with the uh, extended... Um, I'm just going to say barrier. It's not barrier. It will tell me when we go in and look at the mods. And then you can have additional weights added on to them. I think this is one of the larger ones I went for. Puts it in about 2.1 tons or something. Uh, if we go to our weights down there... So we start here with your volume mass 600. The options are the same on each of these. It's just the, the, the masses that change on them. So this one starts at a 600 kilogram weight. You can have it with the bumpers. Bumpers is the word I'm looking for. You can have it with additional 300 kilogram weight, additional 600 kilogram weight, put it at 1.2 ton. Then you can have those with the bumper. So the add in 300 kilogram and bumper, added 600 kilogram and bumper, all back to standard. We can change the main color to anything on that palette. And we can change the design color to anything on that palette. Um, and like I say, that's the same for each of them. It's just a different, different um, capacities, not capacities, weights. Mass <laughs> is the word. Um, yeah, so very nice indeed. You can raise and lower it and it works as a weight, as it should do. The pack Evolume Mass Magzi by Fred Modding. Next behind that, we have got uh, the diesel tank. Um, this is 0 0.96 megabytes download. Four slots on console. It's by Jelinek. Uh, it's a little placeable one. This you'll find under build mode and containers. But it's empty. When you come to it, it'll hold a 1,000 litres. And you can do it in increments as well if you want to. It's the type to you. Um, but to fill it completely with 1,000 litres, it'll cost you 1,375. It's small. You can place it all over the place. I mean, you know, it's, it's a fantastic little, little mod. Um... And you can get your diesel from it. Very straightforward. Build mode, containers, job done. Oh, actually, I didn't say how much it was. Did I? Let's go and have a look, shall we? Probably would help. It's not very expensive. A thousand. There we go. Lovely job. That's by Jelinek. Uh, next, we have got this. Uh, this is the Lizard Transporter by BGamer003. 5.54 megabytes download. Three slots on console. We've had various different versions of this from all the way back to f first i want to say 17 i think um this you'll find under miscellaneous just there um just so it was yeah three slots three slots comes down to one we've got standard option 1500 litre we can have a 2500 litre we can have a 3000 litre all back to standard again we can change the main color to anything on that palette lovely um and it will take all of the pretty much everything crop types rocks everything it does have straps about see just in there so you can put logs in it as well uh, it's not an animal one but we can raise and lower it automatically lift transport l1 circle on the playstation controller or we can manually adjust it we can do our tip we can raise and lower manually uh, but we've also got under l1 and right stick side to side We've got like a high tip function, I guess, high tip. So you can tip out like that if you want to. What you can also do where it says fold transporter, you can take the front off. And if we lower it, you can use it to clear up um, spills, animal mess, that kind of stuff. Straw, hay, grass, you know, anything like that. You can scoop it up just like that and use it as a shovel if you wanted to. Um, very versatile bit of kit, very handy. I like it. They are very handy put a couple of bales in it, whatever you want to do, if you're going to go feed your animals, that kind of thing. Lovely. That's the Lizard Transporter by BGamer003. Next, we've got this. This is the Bale Trailer by QWERTY, PL, and Patalogia. It's 1.82 megabytes download, three slots on console, 7,500 to buy. It does have straps, as you can see. This is not an auto load, although I, I love the detail of the wood on there. The actual grain on the wood. Fantastic. There aren't a lot of options on it, but there are some options, so we'll have a quick look on that. You'll find out the bale loaders, just on the end there. Uh, you can have barriers one, barriers two, so sharp ended or rounded over, I guess. Um, and then you've got main colour, anything on that palette. 
And then we've got rim colour. And then you got that palette. Those are your options. Straps you can do from in cab, as you can do normally. Um, or you can do them manually, like so. Nice, handy, fairly inexpensive um, bell trailer. Lovely. Uh, that's by QWERTY PL and Patologia. Next, we've got this. This is the Lizard MKS16 by ETA Latmarchois. It is 5.03 megawatts download, five slots on console, 16,000 litres. So it puts it between the sort of seven and a half, eight thousand litre ones and your 25,000 litre ones. It's, you know, it, it fills a gap. That's, we could just say that, can we? It fills a gap. Nicely made. Nice looking bit of kit. This one you'll find under animals. There we go. The MKS 16. Uh, 39,250 for the base model, 16,000 litres. We can have Lizard, Nokian, Trelleborg, BKT. Under Continentals, we've got Standard or we've got a Wide. And under Vredestein, we've got Standard or a Standard 2. The others are all just what you get. So Lizards and Arrows, and then, like I say, I've been to those. Uh, design, we've got Standard or with Ladder. So we can have the uh, framework on the top there for climbing up and over, checking tanks, that kind of thing. Uh, design standard, or we've got collision avoidance. I mean, I wouldn't say collision avoidance is not going to stop you having a collision, but it should stop vehicles, cyclists, things like that, going underneath the trailer, that kind of thing. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm being pedantic. Uh, and then we've got colour. We've got chrome, stainless steel. I do like the stainless steel one. And then we've got black and then fairly regular colours on the rest. But it's a nice kind of very matte finish on that. But I like it. And licence plate option two. I think I went, I think I've got milk in here, huh? Yeah, 16,000 litres of milk. Uh, we do have on the back, it does have a strobe on the back of it, which I like. And then we've got uh, L1 and right stick up and down. If you want to go for a bit more immersive, kind of when you're filling and that kind of thing. But I like that, that's pretty cool. So you can go a bit more immersive if you wish. Lovely. There's an MKS 16. Um, next on my list, we have got the... Oh, yes. Um, actually, we'll do that last. We'll go back to the Unia Grudziads. Uh, next, we've got the Komatsu. This is rather nice. The Komatsu HM400 dump truck. This by Janamsk is 42.67 megabytes download, 16 slots on console, 25,000 litre capacity. It looks cracking. I know people have been asking me a lot, when are we going to get the mining mods and stuff on console? I don't think we are. It's not something we're likely to get on console. We do have rocks. You have the ability to landscape. I know I did it on uh, Carmston Farm. You can build your own quarry, fill it with rock, and if you want to, you can have a go at doing mining stuff. There's a few things available now with wheel loads and things like that. This is a really nice looking dump truck. I've put 25,000 litres of rock in it. Uh, you'll find this under vehicles. This was under trucks i think it was just there it's actually it's only 150 grand it's not too expensive either options we have got um tire choice of lizard michelin continental trailerborg nokian mitus back to lizard again and a license plate option no other options on there 453 horsepowers let's hop in start it up so i like it. i mean i just think it's got it's very crisp very detailed Beacon. Uh, we haven't got doors or windows open. Uh, interior. I mean, it's, it's tidy. It's fairly sparse, but I guess the real ones. It's just a dump truck, isn't it? I don't suppose there's a lot more to it than that. Um, nice articulation and movement on it. And then we can unload. Yep, cows are happy, we'll unload. Fairly quick unload as well, actually. Nice smooth animation. Lovely. That's the Komatsu HM400 dump truck by Janamsk. Next, we have got uh, this. Oh, this is lovely. Uh, there are some corkid mods today i have to say um this is the far m66 by ey modding 11.51 megabytes download seven slots on console for the harvester and what was it for the header two 3.2 meter header 
really nicely detailed, really nicely made. Looks great. I've gone for the sport version, the M66 Sport. <laughs> um, you'll find it under harvesters. Cheapest chips, 32 grand. It's only got 1,500 litre tank. But again, if you're looking for a start harvester, if you're doing a start from scratch, you just want to get a bit of harvesting done, uh, we've got the option of uh, Michelin, Trelleborg, Continental, Radestein, Mitis, Michelin, or back in Trelleborg. Uh, with the, the M66, a 54 horsepower, or the M66S, a 65 horsepower, a veritable rocket ship. Uh, and if we go to our headers... Regular headers on the end there. 5,500 for the 3.2 meter M66 header. No options on that. You get it pretty standard. Let's hop on. Say in. On. Lights. Let's rise and lower the header. On the header, we've got real adjustment. Uh, then we've got Actually, I've opened it already, but let's fold the harvester. Puts that away. You've got just got a little bar that holds it up, just props it open. Uh, pipe out. Needs a bit of an oil. We have got a beak on the back, though. It's, it's just it's a lovely little harvester. Brilliant. I love it. I mean, it looks fantastic. Actually. Oh, look at that. Do you see those knives? Look at them going. Oh, fantastic. What a lovely mod. Uh, let's pull that in. So, that's the FAR M66 by EY Modding. Uh, next, we have got... Oh, yes. Let's go over to it, shall we? We've got this, the John Deere 8000 Container Carrier by E.R. Shabba Toy Mateo VSI Modding Saw. 40.05 megabytes download, 21 slots on console. This is making a welcome return. And I say a welcome return, I didn't use it very much in FS19. This is a forage harvester. The forage harvester section is joined onto an IT runner back. So the whole thing is one complete unit. So you are going to need IT runner containers. But the great thing is, when you're doing your forage harvesting, if you've got a few of these... You can go along and harvest away, drop one off the back, stick a new one on. When you're off carrying on or the worker's carrying on, you just got an IT runner lorry or whatever, you've got a trailer, pick up that, off you go. You know, I, I know you would normally do it with trailers and unhook them, but it's a very cool bit of kit. Why I'm saying it's making a welcome return is it's cheap. I mean, properly cheap. Uh, the header doesn't come with it, and nor does the um, IT runner container. I've got those as separate mods, but this is the mod. Uh, you'll find it under vehicles and forage harvesters. So look at the prices. I think we had one recently. I said, oh, yeah, that puts it as you know one of the cheaper forage harvesters. 210 grand. Is that a typo? I'm sure I only, I only leased it at that. 210 grand. That's amazing for all of that. Uh, we have got the option of Michelin or Midas. On both of those, we've got front wheels or front wheels broad. Uh, we've got no beacon. Front beacons, front beacon and one rear. Front beacons and two rear beacons. Just two rear beacons or no beacons at all. I think I went for front and two rear, I think. Um, engine setup, we've got 640 horsepower, 760 horsepower, 880 horsepower for the 8800. Their main colour, we've got options of mats, graphites uh, in John Deere greens, yellows. We've got graphite white, we've got black. And we've got reds on here as well. So you can really mix and match your colours on here. Uh, the same with the design colour, even with a copper on there as well. And that's a horrible, it looks hideous at the moment. But, um, graphite custom, we've got a lovely pink there. Or pale green. <laughs> Mississippi pea green, nice, we'll take that. Let's go with the satin black for the time being. Um, so you can mix and match all those around and that's kind of, that's your base unit. Uh, what I will do then, let's start it up. Pipe out, horn, lights, lighting's really good on it, beacons, like I said, we've got one in the back as well, all over the place, uh, let's extend the arm, so IT runner back, hook lift, 
however you want to refer to it, turn that off again, I suppose they should be on while that is opening and closing. Hook it up, lift it up and put it at the back. We are good to go. Uh, we don't have any doors or windows that open. Interior, really nicely detailed. Lots going on. That rear camera is brilliant. So when you are doing your hook lifts, the option two, oh, there you go. So when you're raising and lowering and you're backing up to hook up to a container, you can see really well. So yeah, it's a very cool angle on that camera. And then I'll, I'll just hire a worker because it'll be easier. Off it goes. When you fall, drop it off, put another one. If you get a bit kind of canny with it, if you're doing long fields or whatever fields you're doing, and you're kind of working out how many strips it's taking to fill up, you can then place the new containers kind of where you're roughly going to get to an end. If you, you don't have to, if you can, if you want, but you can just follow it along. You can do either way, it's entirely up to you. It's a really nice mod, fantastic price. Um, 40.05 megabytes download, yeah, I suppose it's up there. 21 slots, I think is brilliant, in all honesty, for what you get. It's a fantastic bit of kit. So there we go. That's the uh, John Deere 8000 Container Carrier by ER Shabba, Toy Mateo, VSI Modding Sur. Moving on from there, we've got this, the Lizard 1105, 14.3 uh, 14 megabytes download. Nine slots on console by Conta Camigo Modding. It's a, I'm sure we've had this one before on FS19 as well. Uh, I'm sure I said the same thing then when it came out. It reminds me of the old Olivers and the old white tractors. It's got an offset steering wheel. It's got a seat on it now, but I know those older ones, you have to stand up. You kind of stood on a foot plate and to drive them kind of thing. It's got that look and feel to it. You'll find this under small tractors. Just on the end there, 22,370 to buy. Slot count will come down from what was it nine down to one uh we've got the option of lizard michelin and back again under lizard we've got wheel one under michelin we've got wheel two wheel three wheel four wheel five wheel six seven wheel i think it's wheel seven uh wheel eight and back to wheel two there's a couple there where the tread looks like it's a bit more worn i think i went for that wheel six i think uh, standard design or sticker Brazil, so you've got the Brazilian flag sticker on there as well. Uh, engine set up 105 or 130 horsepower. To be fair, 25,670 for 130 horsepower, that's pretty cool. Um, and then we've got colour choice of yellow or green. I went for the yellow. Choice, of course, is absolutely yours. Hop on, start it up. It's a fairly basic machine, but I guess in the real world it is too. You've got a three-point link on the back there, and you've got a, a hitch as well. Lights, horn, first person, I'd say offset steering wheel. Inexpensive, but again, yeah, for that other one, 130 horsepower, not bad at all. Especially if you're doing your South America maps, it will fit right in. There you go, lovely. The Lizard 1105 by Conta Camigo Modding. Next we have got this, the Tatra Phoenix 4x4. We've had a few different lorries, uh, a few different Tatras. Normally they're 4x6, 6x6. No, this is a 4x4. It is 10.94 megabytes download, nine slots on console. It's by Hydraulic. It's got some nice options for tyres. As you can see, I've got some chunky forest tyres on that. I, I do like the look that gives with those chunky tyres. Um, and a load of lighting option, I say a load of, a load of lights as an option uh, and light protection and that kind of thing as well. You'll find this under trucks as well. Um, where is it? There we go. 90 grand, not too expensive either. Slot count will come down from 9 to 1. So we've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, BKT, that's Trelleborg. Trelleborg, we've got wide, or we've got forestry, that's what I went with. Uh, you've got Michelin under wides, you've got Continental, standard, standard two, forestry, wide tyres, back to standard, BKT, wides, wide twos, back to Trelleborg. You've got the option of fenders, yes or no, on the rear. 
Uh, lights, no. You've got lights just below the windscreen. Roof lighting or both, which I went for, or off. Uh, then you've got without tube, just puts a framework um, around the top of the cab. Without or with sun visor, clear sun visor on the top there, but you can have a sun visor. Uh, without light cover or with, just protects down the front. Uh, no beacon light, left beacon light, right, both. Uh, sticker configuration, you can have the Tatra Phoenix stickers, you can have warning stickers, you can have both. Uh, main colour, anything on that palette. Rim colour, we've got a grey, we've got a chrome, white or black. Don't know why I came off that. And then we've got licence, well, that's only licence plate on the end, isn't it? And then licence plate option two. Let's hop in, start it up. Sounds great. Lights, main beam. We do have, uh, where we go? Uh, right stick side to side, we've got left door opens. And right stick up and down. Oh, sorry, left door opens, right door opens, depends which way you're looking at it. This is a really nice mod, this one. Like I said, those chunky tyres give it a very aggressive kind of stance. Beacons. Turn the lights off. Close those. Interior. Nicely detailed. Very nice mod. Sorry, I didn't really give it. <laughs> Nicely detailed. Whip, bomb, bomb, in now. Um, yeah. I'm so happy that gone are the days that the mods were playing up constantly and I couldn't get a mod review done and the mirrors were flickering constantly. I'm so glad we passed all of that. Um, so we go, Tatra Phoenix 4x4. Four four. Uh, that's by Hydraulic. Um, next we've got, now, this is where things are going to get a little bit more. I'm going to have to skip through fairly quickly because we've got a ton of options and a ton of tractors coming up now. This is the Agco Vario 1000 US series by Custom Modding. 25.95 megawatts bytes sound load 22 slots each these are separate mods so we've got the um fence we've got the challenger and we've got the black beauty they are all done separate now for all intents and purposes the options are the same there are a couple of minor differences one of them doesn't have a gen 2 or gen 3 option that is a gen 2 gen 3 option i think that is no so that's got a gen 2 that hasn't it could be the other way around um, as far as I can tell, tyre options are identical on all of them. All the other options are the same. I think it's just the Gen 2 thing. But look at these LSWs. They're 1400s, they are. <laughs> just awesome. Then we have got a load of narrow tyre options as well. Triples on that. I mean, look at it. It's fantastic. The lights are fantastic on these as well. Uh, so like I say, I'm not going to read all the options out. But we'll have a quick look at one. I do just want to double check though. Um, well, that one, yes, yeah, so the Black Beauty's got a Gen 1, Gen 2. The Challenger doesn't have a Gen option, so it just comes as it is. Um, but the the 1000, the Fent, has a Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3 interiors and exteriors, actually. If we go for the Gen 1, lights are further down the cab. Gen 2, they go up to the top, and Gen 3 changes the interior of the cab with some more screens and a different armrest. Um, other than that, options are the same. So I'm going to show you the options on this one. I may have, there may be one that's not. I'm pretty sure they're the same. So we've got the option of Michelin, Lizard, and then a second Lizard. The first Lizard does a set of narrows. The second Lizard does the LSWs. So we'll start with Michelin. Under Michelin standard, wheel weights. Wides, wide and weights. Twins, back triple, narrows. Rear narrow. Uh, twins. Back triples, 22 inch spacing, 36 inch spacing, back to standard. Uh, under the first lot of uh, lizards, we've got narrow, rear twin, twin, back triple, 22 inch spacing, 36 inch spacing, back to narrow. Then under the uh, second lot of lizards, we've got the 1250s. 1250 35R46 LSWs with weight. Then the 1400 on the back, that's crazy, with a weight. And then back to that again. So that's all the tyre options. That's same on all three. Uh, let's say this goes Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. For the interior, uh, we've got beacons, left, right, both. Fenders, yes or no. We've got uh, numbers. Numbers go from 1 up to 25. Can you imagine having 25 of these? That would be insane. 
Uh, steering handle, you can have a little steering handle on there as well if you want to go, go for that. Uh, we can have a cooler. I think I went for a cooler in the front. So there's a cooler in the front there, which is rather cool. Oh. Quick hitch on the back. So we've got a regular hitch. We can have a quick hitch, three-point link. Bit of gear. It's only 2,600 odds. Let's add that on. Then we've got 396 horsepower, 435, 476, 517 horsepower. And license plate option two, which I went with wide fence. That's why you can see that popping up every now and again. Um, and like I say, the options are pretty much identical on each of those. Um, right, we'll hop in this one. So, horn, beacons, the lighting is great. No problem with lighting whatsoever. We do have. And L1, right stick side to side. We've got left door opens. Up and down, rear window opens. Uh, and uh, R1, right stick, up and down. We've got this. Uh, this is on the same on all three. So we can raise that front right up. We'll drop it right down. Sport mode. <laughs> a lot of sport modes today, but we have got the option to raise and lower that, and that's the same on all three. Looks amazing on those LSWs. It really does. Uh, interior. Uh, I don't know if you can just see, we've got the cooler down there. It's a little bit hard to tell. This is the Gen 3 side console. Nicely detailed, nice mod. Uh, I didn't go for... Obviously we've got indicators in the stalks. Oh, the brake lights. Look at that brake light on the top. They're very bright. I like that. Turn the indicators off. Interior, yeah, there's no cooler down there. And that's the uh, standard side console. Same with doors and windows on that. And then the Black Beauty, I think, is the Gen 2 that I go for. I'm trying to think. That might be standard as well. Maybe I didn't go for the Gen 2 on that. But with the triples on that as well. Absolute beast. There we go. The Agco Vario 1000 US series by Custom Modding. Next, we've got this. Not sure why I went orange. I just thought it would stand out. This is the John Deere 6R Extra, long, extra Large Frame by Chrissy136. 21.59 megabytes download. I didn't write down what the slot count was. Um, it shouldn't be too high. Let's just have a look under our medium tractors. Uh, there we go. It was 22. 22 slots on that. Really nice looking mod. Very, very detailed. A few options on this one as well. But yeah, lovely looking tractor. Um, you'll find this under medium tractors. As I said, 22 slots, that comes down to one. 235,000 for the base model. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitis, BKT, Vredestein, Nokian, back to Trelleborg. I'm not going to read all of them out, but... They're pretty much all the same. Michelin. Continental. Mitis. PKT, one of these, oh there you go, so one of these has got a narrow option, but it's the only one I think the PKT. Fredestein, Nokian, standard, wide, communal, back to Trelleborg. We've got Fender, yes or no, you can say on or off. Beacon lights, left, right, both. Warning signs, you can have a more of an EU look, you can have warning signs on it if you want them. GPS receiver, fairly cheap one, only 500, makes a change, they're normally quite expensive. We've got roof door, roof window, I went for roof window, adds a bit more light in. Uh, front loader attacher, it's quite a big track to have a front loader attacher on, but yeah, cool. Uh, engine setup, 281, horsepower 301, those are the two options on that. Uh, main colour, anything on that palette you like. Rim colour, we've got some silver and then we've got blacks, black beauty, a beige, if you're feeling a bit beige. Uh, and then licence plate option two, hop in, start it up. It's a very nice looking tractor, very nice mod. Beacon's lighting is pretty good too. Look at that. 
Uh, what else was I going to show you? Uh, we've got right stick side to side. Oh yeah, it opens that rear window ever so slightly. A little bit of air in just there. And the L1, R1, left stick side to side, does the roof window, roof light. Uh, then right side to side and right up and down does the rear window. It's got window and door too. Interior, very nicely detailed, very nice and tidy. Quality mod. I said there were some corking mods today, didn't I? There really are. I'm just hoping I'm not going to run out of time. John Deere, 6R, extra large frame by Chrissy, 136. Now things get even more spicy. And um, we've got this. This is the John Deere 8R series by Custom Modding, 96.18 megabytes download. Slot counts go on console, 25 for that one, 19 for that one, 20 for that one, 18 for that one, and 21 for that one. These are 2014 2022 versions. We've got the 2022 version ARX, we've got 2014 um, ART, 2022 ART, then we've got an AR, and then we've got 2022 ART. Design queue differences. If you see on this one here, on the 22, you've got, it's more angular. The whole design concept is more angular. With the light shape, the bonnet goes across, then you've got a kind of angular sweep down. You've got this sort of triangular section here that the older version doesn't have. Doesn't have that sweep, and it's a more curved, gradual lighting's more oval. But again, comes to the newer version, and it's all angles. More angular, sharp angles, uh, like is it a rhombus on there? Um, so yeah, very very nice. And the same between this one and this one. Again, more angular on the newer version. Now this is where I'm. These are representative of what's available. I'm going to show you briefly. I would suggest and urge you to go in and have a look because there are so many options on these. Um, the ARX, for example. Treads, we're at 88 inch wide, 88 inch, 120 inch, 120 inch. Uh, then we've got 16 inch tread, 1624 at the back, 1630 at the back, 24 at the front, 2430 at the back. There's so many fenders, yes or no. We've got front weights, front brackets, go through the weights option, uh, rock, uh, rock box, and then front hydraulics, monitors, three point hitch on the back, yes or no. Then we've got uh, 357 horsepower, 388, 420, 458, and license plate. Um, and there are selections of these as we go through. Pretty much the same on each of the um, ARTs. Uh, we've got 80 inch, 92 inch, 104 and 120 inch. And then we go for the high, is it high roading. Um, they're deeper treads. Um, on those and again 16 inch 18 inch 24 inch so a few different options on those i think the other one goes up to 30 the newer version same thing with weights same thing with three point hit uh hitch on the back um oh no sorry these have got frame weights underneath you know frame weights yes or no and then we've got the front weights going through front bracket weights rock box uh does it have a three point link i don't think it does no uh beacon lights same starfire receiver you can have on the roof a little bit more price than the previous one we looked at. Uh, we've got monitors in there. Uh, you can have a decal for the 100 year celebration. Front loader attacher on the ARTs as well. I think if we had those before, I'm trying to think if we had front loader attachers on ARTs before. Maybe, but I'm just misremembering. 376 horsepower, 394, 420. And then we go to the newer version. Um, this one has 16, 18, 24, 25, and 30 inch tread options. So more tread options. Frame weight same, front weight same, GPS three point link. Engine setup goes up to 458 on this one. So we go up through the different options, 458. Um, and the track setup, I think it's the same at 80, 92, 104, 120. Yeah. Um, and then we go on to the AR series. We've got Lizard and Lizard 2s on both of these. So under the standard Lizards, we've got our narrows, 30 inch, 30 inch of weight. Jewels on the back, jewels with weights, jewels all round with weights. Then we've got rear triples, and then back again. So, a few different weights 72 inch uh, um, spacing, 72 inch jewels, 
Nine inch singles with weights, hubs, whole lot of options. If we go back to the second lot of lizards, then we're on to the LSWs again. So we've got 1100s. Was it just that? 1100, 30 inch. Let me go through. Hang on. 1100 weights. There we go. And then a larger 11. I said a larger 1100. That's interesting. 45R46, 45R462. I mean, that means it's not an 1100, doesn't it? Anyway, LSWs, lovely. Fender options, rear, front, or both. Uh, three point hitch option on this one as well. Like I say, pretty much same as we go through. Weight holders, weights, um, protection grid if you go for um, front loader. Uh, rock box. Front hydraulic three-point link. Um, no PTL on that, though. Uh, beacon lights, left, right, both. Starfire receiver. Yeah, pretty much the same as the others. Gen 4 monitors. Celebration sticker. Front loader attached, yes or no. Engine setup. 290, 318, 342, 368, 394, 418, 450. And I'm pretty sure the newer one and the license plate. And the newer one then goes up to again options identical on this one i think it goes up to the 458 as well on this one yeah 458 so a little bit higher horsepower and i say there's slightly different design cues but other than that all the options are all there they look fantastic they they i mean yeah they're just great i do like all the different track options and the tread depth on them they're absolutely insane on some of these but what I want to show you is the RTs. Is on the RTs, L1, and uh, we've got doors that open and close. We've got rear window that opens and closes. But uh, L1, R1, and left stick side side. You can move our steps in and out. So if we're getting up and down when we're actually operating, bring it in. Obviously, you don't want it to be in the way of tracks. So you don't want to be hitting anything with it. We can move that. And these are no slouch either. They get up to speed really quickly. And the turning on them. Whoa! Okay, I wasn't expecting that because when I bought it out earlier, it didn't do that. Now, one thing I have found, and I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's a, a PlayStation issue, I don't know if it's a problem I'm having. The older versions don't have light stalks out. The newer versions do. And look at this. Light stalks are folded back. That one, they're folded out. The older AR, they're folded in. The newer one, they're folded out. I can't get them to unfold. On the older ones, I don't, I've got no option to unfold them. I can still, weirdly, I can still indicate, and those light stalks are still indicating, but I've got no option for them to unfold. I've tried various different button, con button configurations, um, so I'm not sure what, what's causing that. But like I said, I mean, if, if you're interested in John Deere's, like John Deere's at all, and like the look at this pack, download it, uh, have a play with it, because there's a ton of options. And I think they look great, very crisp, very detailed. Um, Custom Modern always puts out great stuff. Um, I just honestly, it, it was a case of I'm going to have to get through these quickly to get all the mods done or just not be able to look at them at all. Um, right, from here, um, I'm, I'm going to do, uh, we've got the Lintner. We're going to look at that and then we've got one... I said I'll skip it, the Unia Gruzia, so I don't want to miss it. This is the Lintner Unitrack pack. We had the Giants version of that. Have we had that? Yeah, I'm sure we have. Um, 20.89 megabytes download. This is by Vectorman. We've got the um, Unitrack vehicle itself with a few options. We've got a tipper back. We've got a forestry back. We've got a tank. We've got um, a manure spreader. We've got two slurry spreaders. And we've got a forage wagon option on these. I've got them all over there. We'll have a look at them all in just a second. Um, slot counts all vary. The vehicle itself is eight slots. The tipper's three. The wood back is four slots. The manure spreader's five. Slurry tank's four. The tank there is a five slot, and the forage wagon's a five slot. So they're not going to break the bank on slots. Um, they're all nicely detailed. A lot of them come with trailer hitches, so you can pull up the trailers along behind them as well. Not all of them do, but some do. That will hold milk or water as an option, or fuel as an option. Uh, we have a few different colour options on these as well. Let's have a look at the vehicle itself. You'll find it under miscellaneous. 
97,800. It's fairly pricey. 95 horsepower. We've got the option of Trelleborg Continental Lizard. Under Trelleborg, we've got Standard and Rear Twins. Under Continental, we've got Communals. It's a more of a kind of city, kind of obviously like a refuse vehicle type thing looking like that. Uh, then under Lizards, we've got the Crawler Tracks. Beacon lights left, right, both or off. Uh, and then we've got main colour, same in all of them. And it's the same in all the backs as well. We've got a uh, municipal orange, green, black, and a white. If you want to change the colour of the vehicle. And there's license plate option on there as well. As for the actual backs, of course, they're all over the place. The trailer one, and it's just there. The tipper module, 2,400 litres, 2,400 to buy. Main colour option. I'm not going to show you all those because they're the same in all of them, the main colour option. We can change the main colour to match the, the main vehicle or mix and match, however you want to go about it. Um, we've got the wood trailer under forestry. There you go, 3,500. Again, colour option on that as well. We have got the manure spreader under muck spreaders on the end there. 5,700 to buy, 3,200 litres. It will spread out to 5.6 metres, but you have some adjustability on that. Again, colour option, licence plate option. We've got the slurry tank versions of those, and there's two of these. Uh, one of them will spread out to 5 metres, the default one. They're both 6,800, both 3,000 litres. That one will spread out to 5 metres. It's got a regular nozzle on the back, and we can change the main colour. That one, slurry tank Alpine, has got an adjustable hose, uh, like a like a fire sort of thing on the end of it, um, which is bonkers. Um, we've then got under where was it? Was it animals? Oh, again, it could be miscellaneous. I think it's miscellaneous. This one. Uh, yep, the tank module. Like I said, we've got the option of milk and water or fuel. It doesn't mix both of those. Uh, main color we've got uh, galvanized. We've got a stainless steel or we've got a chrome. And then the option for the design color is the same. And then what am I missing that I haven't shown? The forage wagon. If we go up to our forage wagons, 11,200 litres, 10,500 to buy. Slot counts weren't up there anyway. Colour options, as we've already said, you could use. And licence plate option two. Now, there is a downside I have found. Or I think it's a downside. It might just be me personally. Uh, we have got strobing beacons, lights, Born. There's no doors or windows. We do uh, have all-wheel steer or front-wheel steer. It's the gearing. It's got a very low, short shift gearbox. So getting up to speed takes a bit of time. Once you get past about 12 miles an hour, there you go, it will then speed up to 26. But to get to there, same with going in reverse, can get a little bit frustrating I'm not gonna lie um, so let's back into there hook up now the tipper trailer has straps so you can put bales pallets all sorts of things in there has a rear trailer hitch we have tip side back tip side left tip side right and the back unload nice smooth animation so it'll unload if you've got grains and things like that in it but you can put logs in it bales whatever you want pallets IBCs uh, if we go then to tip side left, nice sound effects, all working absolutely brilliantly. Turn that off. Um, we have got the wood one has got um, tension straps, ratchet straps as well, and that's the um, water, milk, or fuel. Uh, right over here, uh, we have got. Let's start with the manure spreader. The manure spreader is adjustable. This is taking me so long to settle this up. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to finish it, get it posted, and then they're going to put our mods for today. Um, so we have got the option to turn on manure spreader. We can double apply the same with the slurry as well. So manure and slurry. But with this right stick up and down, we can adjust that. So if I turn it on now, it will spray there. If I adjust it up, we can adjust our spread out as we go. It's an interesting idea. There you go. So we can adjust our uh, muck spreading as we go. I think out to 5.6 metres, I think is what it says, is the maximum. Um, that's your muck spreader. Um, then the slurry ones, I've got the standard tank here. Ooh. 
that wasn't good. Hook it up, let's start it up. So that will spread out to five meters. The problem with that is you're using a lot of slurry until it gets up to speed. There we go, we're getting there. Um, so that will do your regular. And then we've got the one with the nozzle. Can we start that up? Uh, L1 and right stick side to side, you can see the nozzle there. And we got up and down as well. So I'm going to put it out. Let's put it out an angle there. I'm curious to see. That's as high up as it will go. Yeah, so then you can just adjust. I suppose if you want to do that, that would be quite tricky to do. But you could sweep it side to side as you went. <laughs> if you were better at than I am. <laughs> No, you're going to miss loads. Like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of doable. Actually, yeah, with a bit of practice, that's not bad, is it? Yeah, like I said, a bit of practice, you can cover a fair bit of ground with that. That's the Alpine version, that is. That's pretty cool. Um, that's your slurry tank. And then lastly, we have got the forage wagon on the back of here. So we can lower the pickup. Turn it on, drop it down, it should. Now, last time I used one of these, it crashed my entire game, so now I'm really nervous. <laughs> 11,200 litres this will hold. We get to where you're going. Unload here. There we go. Was that whirlwind enough for you? <laughs> um, that's the uh, Lindner Lin track, uh, the Lindner Unitrack pack by Vector Man, which means one of the last of the mods. And this is one I was going to pick up and do earlier, and I got on, caught up in doing all the tractors and almost forgot. But I do like the look of it. It's a cool looking mod um, and a very nice way to end. This is the, where is it on my list now? Because I skipped out it. The Unia Grudziaz U5. 100. This is by Zimovi Vojovnik. It is... It's actually not very big at all. 2.5 metres? Not even 2.5 metres, I don't think. Four slots, 2.31 megabytes download. You'll find it under spaders. It only requires 25 horsepower, so it is a cultivator, but a fairly deep one, I think, spaders generally are. Um, on the end there, that says 1.7 metres, but the mod... Tub said 2.5, and it doesn't matter, 1.7. Maybe I just wrote the wrong thing. Wouldn't surprise me. 25 horsepower required. We can change it to without cover, which I think would look pretty cool. It's like the old rotivators. My uncle had one years ago. Little petrol rotors. Yeah, basically a rotivator. Um, and then we've got main colour choice, anything on that palette there. Those are your options. Let's start it up. I haven't done it yet. I hope this works. Turn it on. Drop it down. So we are spent. Oh, that goes a fair old lick, doesn't it? Only 25 horsepower required as well. You can set one of these chugs on a small tractor just all day up and down the field, and it goes quite happily. And there we go. Cultivating the Umia Grutiaz. U500 by Zimovi Vojovnik. And that's it for the mods for June the 2nd. I'll probably see you later or possibly tomorrow. I am a day behind, I realise that. Um, there was a lot to get through and I'm sure there will be again today. It's um, Jubilee weekend here in the UK. Um, Platinum Jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen. So it's kind of a bank holiday. People are off Thursday, Friday, so we've been doing stuff and I'm trying to fit everything in in between celebrations and things like that as well so that's it for the mods for june the second i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always thanks for watching <laughs>